and in this way you can view the uh, opera boris in a different way and uh, i heard a lot of like, misconception from people about opera boris some people think opera will always uh, remove the common mode voltage and amplify the different voltage etc that's actually it's not totally true uh, so i have this basic OPAP uh, circuitry over here and uh, we have uh, all the non-inverting input we have V1 the inverting input we have V2 and uh, resistor R1 and uh, feedback resistor R2 and output V0 and all these voltages are uh, measured relative to the ground right this V1 is to the ground V2 is relative to the ground so what is the common mode voltage first we have vcm the common mode voltage equal to one half v1 plus v2 so that's basically the average uh, of v1 and v2 that's uh, in right into the middle between the v1 and v2 so the difference voltage delta v is v1 minus v2 okay if you uh, look back to this uh, diagram here or the input side we can see the common mode voltage is right here in the middle and the delta v is right here okay the difference between these two voltages and uh, from these two equations uh, common mode voltage and the delta v we can solve v1 and v2 we can see v1 equals to V common mode voltage plus one half delta V and V2 equals to V common mode voltage plus minus one half delta V okay this is very easy to understand if you look at the diagram here and uh, we can see V1 is a common voltage here in the middle plus one half delta V in this distance here so V2 is the common mode voltage right here uh, minus one half delta V go down this direction about half the delta V okay now um, let's use the op-amp operational principle we know uh, if you look at the diagram we have V1s come here so this node here will be V1, right? Because the op amp, the feedback loop will keep the difference voltage between these two nodes are uh, to zero. So assume the current is flowing in this direction, um, and if there's no current for ideal op amp, there's no current flows into the op amp. So we have V2 minus V1 divided by the R1. That's the current equals to v1 minus v0 divided by the feedback resistor okay let's just follow the current and uh, let's solve v0 we want to know what is the output voltage right? v0 okay let's multiply r2 on both sides r2 here and times r2 on this side too and r2 r2 cancelled and we have R2 R1 times V2 minus V1 equals V1 minus V out. Okay, let's rearrange this equation. We move the V uh, out, V0 to this side, and uh, so we got V out equals V1 minus R2 R1 V2 minus V1. Okay, so V1, what is V1 in terms of common mode voltage and difference voltage? We have V1 is equal to V common mode voltage plus one half delta V and minus R2, R1 is still here and we have v R, V2 minus V1. So V2 minus V1, I can use this equation here. V2 minus V1 equals to uh, minus delta V okay so we got VCM uh, we just combine these two terms 
combine these two terms together and then move the delta v outside. So we can have plus one half plus R2 R1 delta V. Okay, so V out equals to this equation. So the output voltage of this, um, uh, this circuit over here equals to V common mode voltage plus this term times delta V. And what we can tell from here, we see the common mode voltage has a gain of one. So it's one times V common mode voltage, right? So the common mode voltage would just pass through from the input to the output with a gain of one. We didn't really remove the common mode voltage at all. And the delta V is here, and we have this term. R2 is a feedback resistor, so R2 usually is much bigger than R1, so this is a much uh, of value. This 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 part is uh, much bigger than one, so you have an application for the difference voltage, but no application amplification for the common mode voltage. Okay. So, um, but the OPAPs still have a common mode rejection ratio. Common mode rejection ratio here because uh, common mode rejection is divided uh, by the uh, common mode voltage uh, divided by the uh, way out. Uh, because we didn't amplify the common mode voltage, but we amplified the uh, difference voltage, so the way out is get bigger, so the common mode rejection resource get higher. Um, so in general, in a uh, op amp circuitry, you don't want to have common mode voltage in the output side because this will limit your uh, the output swing. So you, your your range is limited by the power rail, and if you have the common mode voltage, your uh, amplification uh, for the difference vo difference voltage would ride uh, on top of that would limit your output swing. So normally we want to remove this. Uh, common mode voltage. Uh, how to remove that? There will be uh, one way to use a difference amplifier. Okay, so in the next video, I think I can talk about a, a difference amplifier. Um, yeah, that's that's all for this video. I hope you uh, when we uh, look the. Uh, uh, this simple op amp circuitry in terms of common mode voltage and different voltage, you have a whole new, uh, whole new idea about this whole, how the op, how this circuit works. Thank you.